Today, we have two biggest names involved in political and business affairs, Elon Musk and Mr. Trump. Welcome to Top Tech News and Gears, where we get you the latest updates and all the hottest topics buzzing the web. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. One of the world's wealthiest people in business bought out Twitter on October 27th with $44 billion, and that was none other than Elon Musk. Now, Musk has a lot of plans for Twitter and what he envisions to be a platform that envisions the dream of truly free speech. Is Musk a free speech absolutist? The world's richest man expressed interest in buying Twitter due to his concern for free speech. In an interview before he agreed to buy the business, he raised concerns about having tweets mysteriously be promoted and demoted with no insight into what's going on. An open source algorithm could address this. After Elon Musk has wholly taken over Twitter, he has a lot of plans for this platform. In the short time he has been at the helm of the platform, he has promised things like a new verification system, a revamp a subscription program, and better creator monetization. Musk has a knack of announcing these features and a whim through Twitter, but it's hard to know in what form and what they would go to the public release. So here's a handy list of things Musk has announced coming to Twitter. After taking over Twitter, the first product change Musk announced was revamping the verification system. Days later, he posted more details that included new features for Twitter Blue paid plan. Musk said the new system would cost $8 monthly and have fewer ads. The company has already been experimenting with things like moving the verified notification tab to appear as the default screen in the notification screen. Currently, paid users can post 10-minute videos. Other users have a time limit of 2 minutes and 20 seconds in videos. You should also know that billionaire businessman Elon Musk and Donald Trump have had a tumultuous relationship. In July 2022, Musk said Trump should sail away into the sunset, while Trump called Musk a bullshit artist. Isn't it funny? Elon Musk and Donald Trump's relationship could have been smoother, but former US President Trump has also said he was pleased that Musk now owns Twitter. But the biggest question remains regarding Musk's takeover, will Trump return to the platform? Musk has said he'd reverse Trump's ban. But Trump doesn't seem eager to direct focus away from his social media startup, Truth Social. And besides, although the two businessmen share a disdain for the left and a tendency toward online bluster, their relationship has not been smooth sailing over the years. Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter, has revealed that Donald Trump's account has been reinstated after the company conducted a referendum in which the outcome was closely divided. Musk tweeted that more than 15 million Twitter users or 51.8% have voted to lift the restriction. Most Twitter users voted because they follow Musk, did so since the former president was a clear favorite among them. Despite his public position that he doesn't want to return to Twitter, Donald Trump was aware of the importance of the survey. He invited his Truth Social fans to the poll and cast a supportive vote. Why would Mr. Trump push his supporters to vote if he isn't considering running again? The fact that Truth Social has fewer users than Twitter contributes to Mr. Trump's predicament. Only 92,000 individuals downloaded Truth Social, according to app expert Sensor Tower in September. In the same time frame, almost 15 million individuals downloaded Twitter. The return of Mr. Trump's megaphone would be excellent. He exploited the platform Twitter, which was his preferred tool, to garner support and control the new cycle. However, even though he would have a much wider audience on Twitter, he has a financial stake in the program developed by the Trump Media and Technology Group. If he were to return to Twitter, it would not be easy to imagine how Truth Social could continue. That contributes to the explanation of why Donald Trump hasn't clambered to return to Twitter as of yet. But in the long run, he will need to balance political and financial considerations. And if he intends to run for president again, don't discount that possibility. The day before the US midterm elections on November 8th, Musk tweeted in response to inquiries about whether he would restore Mr. Trump's account. If he had a dollar for every time someone asked him if Trump is coming back on this platform, Twitter would be minting money. When Elon Musk ran into a controversial bet, everything regarding technology was about to change. After Trump was reinstated to Twitter, the real drama began. It represents a massive leap in many ways. Trump's reinstatement will significantly impact the next election cycle. It might transform Twitter into something that none of us would recognize. It's also a significant technological change that might have repercussions outside social media and cause a divide across an increasing number of apps. Elon Musk's $44 billion acquisition of Twitter has White House officials and Democratic strategists secretly concerned about how it could impact the 2024 presidential election, 
particularly if the billionaire would permit former President Donald Trump to return to the network. Joe Biden's staff is keenly watching the deal. Party strategists and members of Biden's inner circle are concerned about the 2024 presidential election, which might pit Biden against the outgoing president. A person with knowledge of the matter claims that Biden supporters include former President Barack Obama in their private concerns that Musk's acquisition of Twitter could lead to Trump's return to the platform. Musk has not indicated that he will do anything to stop Trump, so they fear Trump will use Twitter to do more damage to regain power in the next election. Twitter permanently banned Trump for spreading false information, blamed for inciting January 6, 2021 riot on Capitol Hill. He had more than 88 million followers. Allies of Trump, such as seasoned strategists Roger Stone, pro-Trump lawyers Linwood and Sidney Powell, and ex-national security advisor Michael Flynn have all been barred from the country. Wood told CNBC in a text message he would rejoin Twitter if Trump returned. Powell, who promoted various fake election theories, said in an email to CNBC that should the transaction with Musk go through, she would consider applying to be restored at Twitter. Powell added that she's pleased to hear that someone who values free expression is interested in taking back Twitter for integrity and liberty. Musk has made it appear that Twitter's content filtering would be reduced if he owned the social media platform. He thinks it's essential for there to be an inclusive arena for free speech. In a recent TED interview, Musk argued that since Twitter has effectively replaced the town square, people must believe they can express themselves freely while still abiding by the law. Musk told a similar viewpoint in a post on Monday that he hopes even his harshest detractors continue to use Twitter because this is what free expression entails. Musk has ethical reasons and solid financial motives to allow someone of these previously banished voices back onto the platform. For example, suppose Trump gets re-elected and Tesla seeks to restore federal tax credits for its electric vehicles. In that case, Musk could face an extraordinary temptation to reinstate the president's account, if he hasn't done so. With over 80 million followers, he already uses Twitter as a powerful marketing engine for his companies. The pressure will be even more significant outside the US. In 2020, Twitter said it would start labeling as state-affiliated media accounts belonging to some Chinese government officials and state-linked media outlets, in addition to ensuring that tweets from those profiles aren't amplified. The Chinese government indeed hates these restrictions. Suppressing government statements contaminates the free speech too, but Tesla also has essential business goals in China and needs the support of President Xi Jinping. It all brings to mind Jeff Bezos' purchase of the Washington Post in 2013 when Amazon.com Inc.'s founder promised not to meddle in the editorial decisions of the newsroom. Whatever his reasons for buying the paper, for vanity, visibility, or an interest in rescuing an important American institution, he has largely followed through. Musk is promising the opposite here, is going to get involved. So whatever he does to install his ideology at Twitter will impact not just the social network's users and shareholders, but all of us. The story ends here by telling the moral that both Musk and Trump will be benefited equally from the change in their deals. Did you like this story? If then, comment on this video. To watch more like this video, please subscribe to our channel and enable the bell icon to get our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.